Welcome to Creative Warehouse, beautiful people. It's another day, another episode, and I'm grateful to be here. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can reach out from a computer screen. Say, for instance, you're on a video call with someone, you can easily reach out and pick something from their own end, right? Let's check out this. So for me now. You're really funny, really funny. <laughs> See, ah! but I understand. Sorry, excuse me. I have to be this guy. Sammy! Uh, this silly boy hasn't changed at all. You think they did wine? Look at his lips! You'll be mumu. Alright, hope you liked that video. I know you can't wait to see how we made that video. Well, that's why we're here. But first of all, give us a thumbs up, smash the like button, and subscribe if you haven't already to get the algorithm out there. All right, without wasting your time, let's go into it. The first thing you need to do is to keep your camera on a tripod and lock the tripod. And that position is where we're going to use for the two scenes we want to shoot. And the first scene is to capture the computer screen and the person speaking into the computer screen. Well, that's going to be an empty computer screen. If you notice, we elevated the laptop you would see the reason we elevated that laptop because we needed it for the effect. We needed it to sell the effect. When you have captured that scene and you're done, in our own case, we scripted it. So Dave knows what he was going to say. I knew, know what I meant to say. This is necessary so you don't have your lines overlapping, right? So it's so important that it's timed and that's why it's, it's, it's critical to have it scripted. Then you clear the table. In our case, we cleared the entire table. We needed to change a background. So we got a mattress and flung our green screen over it so as to shoot on a green screen. The essence of this, of course, is so that I will, I will key it out, you know, change the background in post-production. The, the next critical thing was to get a carton. Of course, you can use anything. Just make sure it's about the height of that laptop, right? It's very, very critical. And then neatly wrap your green screen or green whatever around it. Something high enough to cover your tumbler or your glass cup. So you can see, we put our glass cup in front of it. This is the, why it was necessary to elevate that laptop because the glass cup has to be in front of a green screen. Please, a word of caution, make sure you light your green screen very well. Make sure you light your green screen because it has to be well lit to be able to be keyed out properly. Of course, we did that. We had to add additional lights from the first light we had, but we made sure our camera was rock steady. It was already locked. When it was time to take out my straw and sip from the glass cup, of course, you would notice that I had to pass the straw through the green screen, very, 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 very important. And you put it back, pull it back through the green screen. It has to be within that screen. The green screen has to cover it. And that is it about our performance. So the next thing was editing. Let's go to Premiere Pro. In Premiere Pro, you cut your in and out, bring your first footage, put it on the timeline, then lift it to track two, and then bring in the second footage, which is my own shot, right? Responding, which is meant to be inside the computer screen and put it on track one. Then you move your opacity to 50% so that you're able to see the two videos, right? And then mask within the screen. And when it comes to the green screen, also mask around it. Then take it back to 100%, go to effect panel, type on ultra key, drag it onto the lower footage 
and then take your eyedropper, click on the green screen. Voila, it keys it out. And for the part where we did the bad network connection, where the stuff was loading, all I needed was get a footage of that loading. It's on YouTube, so download it and put it in front of the screen. That was literally all we did to get that video done. It looks simple, right? Well, not exactly. A bit of fine tuning had to happen. That's pretty much all we have for you today on Creative Warehouse. Thank you so much for sticking around. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment below and I will be sure to respond. I'll be coming your way again with another amazing video and tutorial. My name remains Sammy Joe. You have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Peace.